Well, unlike my last project, this actually came with um, uh, with instructions, and uh, and it came with these bolts. So you get two brackets, two bolts and nuts, and two washers. Some instructions, and I had to go get these from Harbor Freight. These tow hooks, and they actually bolt onto the bottom there. All right, it looks like I've got to take those three bolts off for the bumper. And uh, so I'm going to put some PB Blaster up through this hole here to get the back of those bolts. And that's on the, the passenger side. <clears throat> it looks the same for the driver's side here. And I have never removed that. So um, I don't think I have anyway. So here we go. On each side you've got this hole here that you could spray your PB blaster and that will get onto the back side of all the uh, bolts or whatever kind of penetrant you want to use. Try to remove this side piece. Looks like the next thing I'm going to do is remove this vacuum ball. You don't want to break that. So you, you take out these two Torx 25 and then you pull this vacuum ball out of the way. And now I can easily get to those bumper bolts. I decided to take the bumper off the brackets. It's a T50 Torx bolt. You got one right here and you got one right here. All right, that's what it looks like with the bumper off. I just took the bumper off in one big piece. I left this plastic air dam on it, and I left the two fog lights on it. Um, interesting. I've never seen this before because I've never pulled this off. I think this is the original build tag for it, This, which is where they put them. So I'm going to try to salvage this and uh, take that off. Interesting overspray. I don't know if that's factory or not. Once you've got the bumper off, you can actually put my light up in there. You can see the backs of those bolts to get some PB blaster. Or if they happen to break off if they're too rusted, it should not be a problem to drill them out with the bumper off. From the looks of the directions in here, it looks like this is the driver's side, by the way. The pat this um, bracket is going to go through here. It's going to go between here and here. And really, just these uh, three bolts are going to bolt here. And for this one in the back is where the, why they give you this long elongated bolt to go through there. So you use the three original ones here, and you use the one that came with the kit here. Should be pretty easy, so I'm just going to take these off. Very good. These are the 15 millimeter bolts that come out, and as you see, that's got to be replaced. So I'm probably just going to put a regular nut on the back of that. If I don't have any, I'll go see if I can find some of these at uh, Lowe's or something like that. Lowe's is absolutely the worst place to get nuts and bolts. Nothing is in the right order. Everything is all mismatched and unpackaged. Now this is how your boat should be organized. Um, passenger side, so the first thing I did was put the bolt in that hole in the frame, as you can see right there below the alternator. And then you line this up and basically you put this on top of it. That's the bumper bracket and it goes to the original holes right there. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so what I did on this uh, driver's, I mean on the passenger side, I'm not going to tighten them up. I've got them ready. I had to go buy new bolts, I mean, excuse me, new nuts. I used the original bolts because the uh, these things just shattered. Um, so I got some grade five uh, bolts and or nuts and washers to go with it. 
And then, uh, but the reason I'm not going to tighten this up is because it looks like I need to get the bumper on there and then I'll come through the side and tighten it and make sure the bumper's straight. Interesting. Here it is with the Harbor Freight uh, hook installed. There's barely enough room, as you can see, right there. But it will fit. The passenger side fit fine, but this driver's side, in order to get this thing to line up, that bolt hole right there is not going to be perfectly lined up. I've already put the bolts in, tried to align it, and it would not work. So I'm going to have to waddle this little piece out right here just a little bit. All right, waddling that back bolt out just a little bit worked. So now we're going to put the Harbor Freight tow hook right there. All right, so the tow hooks are mounted. I've got uh, all the bolts at least uh, hand tight. And see, that gives me enough adjustment to put the bumper on. And once I put the bumper on and get it bolted through the top and the bottom, and get it aligned, then we'll tighten these up, and only then. Here's that little tag that was on it. It's roached. Um, I'll take a picture of it. I'll put some de-rust uh, sealer stuff on it and put it back on for the future automotive archaeologist. And maybe I'll try to look up what that even means. Now once you get the top and the bottom of these uh, T50 Torx bolts, make sure that uh, your bumper's even. See, I can still adjust it a little bit. Because when you put your plastic piece, it covers all that up. This is all roached and dented up, but you're not going to see that. That's gonna, that gets covered up. So now it's just time to tighten all the main bolts. So I got the bumper level and straight with the car. And now what you got to do is just tighten up those bolts in there. Where are they at? There you go. That one there. And... Those there. All right, all the bolts are tightened up. Back bolt there. And as you see, bumper bracket, that's what it looks like on both sides. I think it's pretty sturdy. Again, here's the driver's side, what it looks like once it's installed. Now that's what they used to look like on a high country package, which is very rare. Well, you're definitely not going to start a recovery business with those two hooks, but they'll get you out of a jam. They'll get you out of a ditch or in some wet grass or some light mud. Completes my install of the Tomkin uh, Jeep XJ tow hook brackets. Um, they're based out of Buena Vista, Colorado. You can see that. And um, for the actual tow hooks themselves, I use these Harbor Freight tow hook brackets, tow hooks themselves. It was like $7. So overall, it looks almost just like the uh, factory uh, when, it, when they did come with them, but although that was very rare. So um, hope you learned something. Have a great weekend.